Jamaica, a country you often hear has beautiful beaches, all-inclusive resorts, and some of the best ganja in the world. But what happens when a foreigner steps away from the luxury and into the daily life of Jamaican locals? You want me to buy you a phone? Yes. We can call each other. Is everybody trying to scam me? Everyone in Jamaica just smokes weed all day, every day. And how badly has smoking laced plant all day fried the brains of the Jamaican people? Afternoon, man. Wagwan. No respect. No respect, brother. Me a yadi. That right there is slang for afternoon, man. How you doing? I'm a Jamaican. Or I could say me from foreign, which means I'm a stranger. Over here in Jamaica, boys. We're in Jamaica. We're not where the resorts are, but we're just a bit on the side right now. We're walking towards the city center of Montego Bay. Jamaica, Mia Yadi. Wagwan. I made some friends down here on the beach who wake up every single day and they catch crab and they cook it. They slice it up and they cook it right there every day, all day. What a life. But I'm dressed like a Jamaican. Mia Yadi. We're here. Going deep into the side of Jamaica that most people, when they say Jamaica, they're talking about an all-inclusive resort. You know, they're staying inside. And don't get me wrong, those vacations are great, but I'm in Jamaica to try to figure out what Jamaica really is. Wagwan! These are my boys here. What did we catch today? Eh? How are you, brother? Check the net right now. Everything good. Oh, you're gonna check the net right now? How are you? Okay, bro. How are you, brother? Yeah. No respect. What's up, bro? Yes. How are you? You see my stuff? <laughs> really? Wait, I think I've seen you too. Are you the the African YouTuber that does the travel stuff? You did a video on Makoko. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. You flying a drone right now? <laughs> This is actually completely yeah. unplanned. <laughs> Bro, you yeah, make some good stuff, friend. by the way. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're gonna... from Nigeria, right? Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> you flying a drone for your stuff right now? Yeah. Yo, get me in the shot. This is crazy. The amount of times things in my schedule changed that day for me to end up on that same beach, it could not have been a coincidence. The boys are just chilling. They vibe here. Definitely an interesting first Jamaica experience. A similar content, traveling into the depths. Uh, but with an African vibe to it. He's Nigerian, you know, it's cool to see African content creators come out. Seeing that this whole video thing is what can get you, you know, exploring the world. But yeah, we're at a pretty local beach, if you couldn't tell. By the fact that uh, everybody is black. But the, the water's nice. The water's nice. Also guys, just currently at the beach and just ran into Arab. He's also a big YouTuber who also travels. Wagwan! This is me, Dwayne. Welcome to Jamaica. I met Dwayne yesterday. I'm DJ White Diamond. Come and meet me. DJ White Diamond. Yeah, Dwayne, where, where do I look? Where do I look like I'm from? Canada. Me a Yadi. Nah, you're not Yadi. <laughs> oh, this is for me, Dwayne. Thank you, Dwayne. But this makes me look like a tourist. No, I don't need this. <laughs> he just marked me. <laughs> Come, I gave you a shout out because I know you got it on tape and that rascal I'll picture, you know. I with the one love Jamaica. Yeah, man. Wagwan. Wagwan. No free spec. No free spec. No free spec. No Dwayne, is you cook? Are you cooking? Yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What you cooking today? Banana. Bananas? Uh, yeah, and flour. And flour? Yeah. And some cabbage. Okay. The real Jamaican cabbage. Real Jamaican cabbage. That's the sales pitch? Real Jamaican cabbage? I'm sold. Hey, you're gonna If it's real Jamaican, then I'm sold. This is a Jamaica banana. That's all. Jamaican we... banana. Yeah. Bro, did you let the banana uh, get big enough? Yeah, man. This one now. Shouldn't you let it get a bit more ripe? No, man. This is the way. These one out. You cook it. These one very good for your health. But right now, we clean them up. Excuse me. About to head and talk to DJ White Diamond. What's up, DJ White Diamond? What are these tattoos? Are they symbolic? Yeah, it's just it's like, it's a symbol. Does it mean anything? Well, this is my, my forehead, you know, it's an Indian, Indian side. Oh, you have an Indian side? 
Indian sign. Oh, Indian I'm sign. Half Indian and half German. You're you half Indian, half German. Exactly. Okay. You know, my colors are wider than this. You know. Ah, uh, okay. And blue and all that. But now it's gray. But some of my family, their their, their eyes still green and blue. Ah, uh, okay. And your eyes? Gray now. Look brown. Brown and gray mix up. But they say I have pretty eyes. Is it true? You have pretty eyes? Yes. Beautiful eyes. Thank I've you. I've fallen in love with you just in this two minutes. I know it's moving fast. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, but DJ White Diamond, you just look at you. This is my fiance phone, and I don't have no phone. My phone did see the last year. Could you give me money? I could buy another phone. You have a fiance? Yeah. So we have we have no shot together? Yeah, we can. We can, we can do our thing still. So you want to buy me a phone? You want me to buy you a phone? Yes. So we can call each other. Oh, did you just turn me into a sugar daddy that fast? I guess. Yeah. Okay, after a phone, what else do you want? Gucci bags? Yes. Is fake Gucci okay? Yes. Because we could spend that money on other things. Yes. Right? Like I need a car. Um, when could you give me the money and let me look about my passport? You, I mean, you go to look about my passport. No, I'll have somebody cover it. I'll have somebody handle it. I just, I'll come back. I'll get your info, your name, your real name, your your actual ID info, so we can apply for the passport. Okay. I am quickly realizing that everybody here in Jamaica is trying to get some sort of money out of you. So the tourism thing definitely helps the country a lot. At the same time, that is why I want to go deeper. I want to see if that changes at all. If I'm still too close to that stuff. F man. My slippers broke. I just bought these yesterday. Man, I want a sleeper. Yeah, man, you want the slippers? Where can I get one? Let me see this. Oh, you can fix it? You're a shoemaker. I'm sitting in the middle of the Jamaican street right now with one slipper. It was Jamaica? No, but now I look like a tourist. I wear this, it says, me from foreign. I can't, I can't. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Huh? You want me to give you a support? Bro, I, I can't, bro. I, I'm a local. I live on a beach. I'm, I'm supporting where I go, bro, but, you know, I can't support everything. Otherwise, I can't even get back home. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah, that could take you. That could take you nice. on the journey, huh? Nice. So you're not gonna leave something for the show? I, I am, yeah, but I can also come back tonight when not many people are here. I'll be back. Quickly notice that everyone's always trying to get something from you. <laughs> Every single person. Those stands right there are actually uh, selling stands. So. I mean, you saw how he took out and fixed my shoe. He took out and fixed my shoe and then asked me for money. So they do every hustle that they can do. They have cheap slippers that you can, they can glue together. He's got a glue stand. He heats up the glue. Like, those guys are hustlers and they have bags of, you know, big which I could have asked them to see. What's up, man? How are you? Hey, what's that? A 45? A 22? Two? No, it's not a gun. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian? Yeah. I notice you walk around these streets a lot. Yeah, to, uh, to look food. To look for food? Yeah. Do people give you food? Yes, that's why I come back out here. Oh, okay. Oh, you're not from here? I'm from up South Spring. Oh, you go all the way up and down every day? Yeah. Can you buy me some food? I'm hungry going on the beach to fresh. So I want to like change to have a nice sick and eat bad food. I can take a taxi, go to the hospital. Ah, uh, okay. I can move. I can get something clean. Are these uh, rolling papers? Yeah. You keep them on you? Yeah. And a rolling paper on the side of your head. Yeah, two of them. And cigarettes. All right. Well, we'll talk soon. I'm sure I'll see you around again. Thank you. That's for, that's for next time, too. Yeah. Okay? Remember Adrian. 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 Thank you, soldier, Mr. White. Welcome. No respect. He just said, thank you, soldier, Mr. White, man. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> what I have noticed is that everybody is trying to scam you. Not really scam you. Uh, for some reason, it just feels different in Jamaica. Like, the, the, the scamming doesn't feel like a scam. Like, they are scamming, but it doesn't feel like it. You know, you can't tell whether someone's friendly or, like, 
fake. It's a very Nigerian vibe, but it comes off friendlier than Nigerian. Like they all say hi, but they, they all want something out of you. Overall, this country's not really doing it for me. Not yet. You've seen, you've seen my videos? <laughs> oh my god, we're coming. Wagwan. Me from foreign. Is this a Jamaican game? No, foreign game. Foreign game. International game. What is it, dominoes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you guys bet money on it? Oh, turn this away? It's, I'm gonna put it off, I'm gonna put it off. When I turned off the camera, the guy started interrogating me, asking me if I was wearing a wire. So far, everyone's not so friendly. Uh, when I turned the cameras off back there, they asked if I was wearing a wire. I said, you wearing a wire, man? I guess people don't come through here with cameras. My brother David, Wagwan. Ready? Good? No free spec. Alright, cool. David, how's your day going, bro? Yeah, it's not bad, it's alright. Alright, let's start with a restaurant. In town? In town, your favorite. This is a town center. This town center? Sam Shop Square. Oh. Of Montego Bay? Yeah, Montego Bay. Here we are, in Jamaica. The shop is very colorful. Mia Yadi. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a local restaurant. So the normal thing we eat is normal fried chicken, curry goat, pork. All right, it's Jamaican food review. Chicken and pasta. Oh, that fried chicken looks good. And rice and peas. It's what most persons have for lunch. Chicken, rice and peas and chicken. Ooh, that pasta's good. Yeah, it's normal, man. Eh? That's good chicken. Yeah, good. That is good fucking fried chicken, bro. Ooh, the rice and peas get spicy at the bottom. It's spicy at the bottom. From there, I had him take us to one of the slums in Montego. This is Granville. Granville? Yeah, Granville. And what's no BBC LT dumping? What's that mean? Wagwan. What is it? It's called no bumbo clad dumping. So it's, a, it's a first word, you see, 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 2024? Who's the best one here? You wanna get smoked? Let's go down, let's go down. Nah, let's go nah, down. Nah, I'm not gonna stop. Really? You're nah, afraid? Nah, I'm not gonna stop. Bye bye! Stop. You afraid of them? <laughs> nah, I'm not afraid of them. Just, just. I would've smoked them. I would've for sure smoked them in FIFA. Wagwan! Now everyone out here does ganja too? Most. That's just how it is? Everyone yeah, just. How it is. Yeah. So everyone in Jamaica just smokes weed all day, every day? Like out of these people, like eight people standing outside. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, it is probably better not to go down in the ghetto here, huh? Yeah. Uh, Everyone seems very uh, against the camera. Yeah, no one wants to. Yeah, Wagwan. Uh, can you YouTube? Yeah, uh, can you YouTube us? Uh, can you YouTube us? Uh, no, me a yardi. Me a yardi. Oh, okay, okay. No free spec. Yes, man. Yes. Man. <laughs> oh. yeah, we should get out of here. Yeah. We should get out of here. Ready to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's our election time. Uh, Everyone is high on ganja. Everyone is high on drink and high on rum, drinking rum. Everyone in Jamaica is hammered or high. <laughs> After seeing how mentally fried people were because of their addiction to plant, it made me wonder: Did Bob Marley ruin Jamaica? Well. I spent two days living with a Rastafarian, just like Bob Marley, to get to the bottom of this. As many of you know, you can watch next week's episode early on ArabUncut.com, as well as extended uncensored cuts of all my videos, 
including this one right here. All right, so now we're at the nice part of Jamaica, Montego Bay. This part is called what? Westgate Hills. Westgate Hills? Right. So this is where the more... The nicer houses? Yeah, more affluent people live back. Kind of like a Chinese style, right? Yeah. If you look behind me, you'll see like the different culture and color that they have out here. All the houses are different styles. Oh, go on. Oh, they do? Let's see how good this coconut is. That is a full coconut. Wow. Very cool. Thank you. Wow. Oh, that's good. No, no, I don't need a straw. I don't need a straw. Yeah, no, Jamaican brother, drink the straw. I need with a straw? Yes. You're saying I'm not Jamaican? No, you're not. No, me a yardie. You gotta know yardie. Me a yardie. No my respect. Friend, what is no that? respect. <laughs> you from foreign? Give him a straw, yeah. Yeah, you put that straw in. You from foreign? Me from Jamaica. So we're here on the coastal side, of the non-touristy side. Let's see how the bananas are here. You guys are gonna talk shit to me. I know you guys are gonna comment. I don't know you guys are gonna comment. Oh, that's a good banana. How much do I owe you? For everything? Yeah. Uh, 1200. 1200. Jamaica. Okay, $10. I gotta say, the Jamaican ganja makes you very, very tired. Very, very tired. Oh. All right. So Teo and I are on our way to Kingston. We're headed down to the bottom south of Jamaica. And on our way to Kingston, in the middle of a very, very busy highway, there's a protest happening in the middle of the road. <laughs> what do you think of this protest? I thought it was a car burning. I thought it was a car burning just now. We stopped, we thought it was a car burning, and it turned out to be somebody protesting by burning an air conditioner. In the middle of the road. In the middle of the road. <laughs> Why? What is this? Don't put your camera on me. I put the camera here and you walked into it. Yes, don't put your camera on me. But I'm filming the protest. Wow. That's the lady protesting. She's the one protesting. <laughs> yeah, she's the one protesting. <laughs> oh, this is a vibe. We are in Jamaica. Me a yardy. Me a yardy. What go on? No free spec. <laughs> None of those resort stuff. So we're here at a real local Jamaican restaurant. But the vibe is nice. The temperature is nice. Now we got to see if the food is nice. What go on, man? Yeah. What go on? What go on, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> 